These are the following steps to ensure a proper CS2 coating application. First, ensure the vehicle paint is ready to be coated. Strip any previous waxes or coatings with the water-based de-wax prep wash, which can be used as a soap replacement if not excessively dirty. Check the hydrophobics and if water doesn't lay flat after rinsing, then take the necessary steps before moving on. If paint is rough to the touch, then clay all smooth surfaces using a non-polymer lube such as CS2 clay lube. Remember to also remove mineral deposits with CS2 water spot remover and also consider using an iron remover for deep cleaning embedded fallout. Next, correct paint defects using Body Shop Safe compounds such as CS2 All-in-One. Prep paint for coating with our solvent-based silicone remover and thoroughly clean using multiple towels to ensure the paint feels clean and grabby. Before applying the coating, make sure to check the temperature and humidity with a hygrometer. Optimal temperature ranges from 65 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Optimal humidity is 50% or greater. When humidity is low, utilize a spray bottle of distilled water to add moisture to the application to slow down solvent evaporation. Try to avoid fans or air currents as they also increase solvent evaporation which makes it more difficult to level the coating. Apply sufficient coating to the applicator so that the application is uniform and wet. Allow sufficient time to bond which can vary based on temperature and humidity and airflow. Ideally, the first wipe should be with a 450 GSM or higher towel followed by a shorter nap towel such as a CS2 microfiber towel. Think of the first towel as a cutting towel and successive towels as follow-up polishing towels. Change towels as needed to reduce buildup which can leave coating smudges behind. When leveling with a plush towel, you want to feel some friction or resistance which indicates bonding. However, you may not feel much resistance when using the water method on low humidity days. When leveling coatings with fluorine such as SH or Part B, be sure to level while the coating is still wet, otherwise excessive high spots will be left behind. If you must polish them off, make sure to recoat with SH or Part B. Utilize proper lighting to see the coating and what it's doing and level high spots before they set. Use preservation solution to remove high spots within one day of application, otherwise some all-in-one may be needed to level the spots using a microfiber towel or applicator. When coating with two-part coating such as titanium self heal SH base and SH, or titanium hard with activator and coating, allow the first part to cure for a minimum of one hour. With titanium, use the black or green bottle first, then the red bottle second. You can apply more than one coat if desired, but only one solid coat is needed. Never apply alcohol, or IPA, to titanium self-heal because it will negatively impact hydrophobic performance. SH has a lower chemical resistance than titanium hard. Do not wash for 24 hours. Allow coating to fully cure over the next 1-2 to two weeks unless cured with IR. IR curing isn't required, although it is helpful when temperatures are below 65 degrees Fahrenheit or for vehicles that need to be released when the weather conditions are not optimal. Coatings must be maintained. Regular washing is imperative. Using touchless or minimal contact washing methods is always preferred. Vehicles that live outside are subjected to the worst conditions and therefore should be washed weekly at minimum. Inspect coating performance at 9 months to 1 year intervals to ensure performance is optimal. Remember to maintain all CS2 coatings with preservation solution.